Hello you amazing hackers, I hope you're doing well today. I have a new video for you about the Chrome developer tools. So I made a video about Java and JavaScript a few uh, videos back. Uh, and today I want to give you guys some insight on uh, how you can look through the JavaScript files and what kind of useful tools, you, uh, things you can do with the Chrome developer tools. So to open the Chrome developer tools, you can just click on the page and click on inspect, right click on the page that is of course, or you can just click the three dots in here and you can go to more tools and you can go to the developer tools or you can just use the shortcut. Now in here we have a few different tabs. As you can see, you have your elements tab. Now the elements tab of course is interesting to know what the source code of your page looks like. You also have the console, oh sorry, so when the console, uh, you can try any JavaScript that you can think of. You can just type it in here and you can just test it out. So I can, uh, for example, get a document. Uh, I can try and see what's in here. I can do anything using JavaScript. I can also open my sources tab. This is an interesting tab that we'll get back to later. My network tab is also a really interesting one. I have a few of these filters up here. Now I'm going to put all on and I'm going to refresh the page for a second. And as you can see, I can have everything, every bit of information that is being loaded is put down here. Now, um, this is a lot of information. For example, I don't really care about all of these images, so I don't want to see them. So what I'm going to do is, of course, I can hide the data URL, so it's going to filter a lot already, but I can also just open the JS uh, filter and the JS filter is going to allow me to uh, view any of the JavaScript files. Now when I have a JavaScript file that I want to look at a little bit closer, I can just right click that JavaScript file and I can open it in the sources panel. Now as you can see you're going to have a, a lot of ugly JavaScript in here that's all on a few lines. This is not really readable. So what you can do in the uh, Chrome developer console is just click this beautiful button here that says pretty print. And as you can see, it's going to take a little bit. It's going to pretty print your JavaScript code. So this is going to make it a lot easier to read. Now you can also just Control F or Command F for Mac, of course. And you can try looking for different stuff, like for example, secret in here. Um, you can look for slash API. Now this is uh, to find some paths, see if you can find some available. Um, and as you can see, there's already something in here. Maybe this might be, you no, know, that's just Redux. So you can, this is a way to look through all of your JavaScript files a little bit easier. Um, now, another thing you can do is if you really want to know some endpoints, you can go to your network tab again, and you can just uh, open the XHR and fetch. Now, what H XHR and fetch filter will do is it will do all of the AJAX calls, all of the AJAX endpoints, it will get those for you. So for example, here you can see another endpoint location.teslamotors.com slash GOIP slash version 1.0.3 slash city. So these are calls that are being made in the background, uh, asynchronized calls, and you can view what uh, exactly the response is, what the headers are, what the content of the call is. You can view all of that kind of stuff. So as you can see, there's a lot of useful things you can do in here. You can also go back to the sources tab and for example, put a breakpoint on a particular line by just clicking on it. And then you can go through the complete site. You can just click on a few things, see if you hit your breakpoint. Um, and then you can use these controls to continue or pause the breakpoints. You can uh, adjust JavaScript in here. Um, oh, sorry, there's something wrong there. No, anyway, I hope you guys found this interesting. There are a lot of different things you can do with this uh, with this developer console. Um, let your imagination run wild. I'll release a second video containing some more tips, and I hope you found these useful. Um, if you did, please leave a like, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.